I'm James Ware, a clinical senior lecturer in genomic medicine at Imperial College London and a consultant cardiologist at Royal Brompton and Harefield Hospitals NHS Trust. Clinically, I look after patients with inherited cardiac conditions uh, and I'm interested in understanding the genetic basis of cardiovascular disease and in using uh, genomic information to improve patient care. Two things are happening in cardiology at the moment. First, genetics is scaling up. The arrival of uh, genomic technologies has reduced the cost of genetics and it's increased its impact on care so that it's being much more widely used. Genomic data is also now increasingly available in the clinic to influence prescribing and risk stratification of patients. General cardiologists are likely to increasingly encounter genetic information and they need to be aware of it and know when to refer for specialist advice. I think it's also very important to take a family history so even when the diagnosis is less clear uh, we can pick up patients who might have a genetic component to their disease. For example, the evaluation of a patient who's collapsed uh, might be very different if we know that there's a family history of someone who's died suddenly early in life. The biggest impact of genetics in cardiology remains in the diagnosis of inherited cardiac conditions. When genetic testing can help us sort out which family members are at risk of the condition and which are not. Inherited cardiac conditions are usually autosomal dominant. Uh, which means that immediate family members have a 50% risk of inheriting the same condition. So although in the clinic we just have one patient in front of us, we have to bear in mind they may have children, siblings and parents who we also have to consider. If we assess uh, relatives when they're still young, uh, it's very difficult to confidently say that they don't have the condition themselves because a one-off normal scan or ECG doesn't exclude the possibility they're going to develop the disease later. By contrast, if we can make a precise molecular diagnosis with a genetic test, uh, we can potentially rule out the possibility of them having the genetic predisposition and we can discharge them from the clinic and reassure them. Understanding the precise molecular basis of a disease uh, through genetic testing, for example, can also help us to refine our treatment. If we consider unexplained left ventricular hypertrophy, presumed to be uh, typical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, Actually, about 1 in 50 patients will have Fabry disease, which has a very specific therapy through enzyme replacement. There's also an opportunity to use genomics to choose the best therapy for our patients, predicting their response to different drugs on the basis of their genetics. One cardiological example uh, is the drug clopidogrel, which is a prodrug, and some individuals lack the necessary enzyme to convert it to its active form. These people will be resistant to the medication, but they can be identified in advance using genetics and offered an alternative. Understanding the genetic basis of disease can give, an, give us an insight into the molecular mechanisms and pathways involved, which can allow us to develop new treatment strategies. Inherited conditions can also serve as genetic models for more common forms of disease. So as we understand the genetic basis of these conditions, uh, that will unlock new treatments and particularly targeted and more effective treatments. New genome technologies are also offering the promise of new therapies through gene repair or replacement. Advances in genetics and genomics have an opportunity to benefit a large number of patients with both inherited conditions and with common cardiovascular diseases. Some of the benefits for the patient in front of us might not be realised for another few years, uh, but the benefits for their family really are immediate and very substantial. Genetics is no longer just an ivory tower's academic interest, but it really has application for our patients.